It's raining a little bit, so we didn't make it to Whit Road. Feels like we're never gonna make it to Whit Road. First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, today is day three and this is the most important day. I think Greg said it best last night when he said you haven't done the Smoky Mountain 500 unless you've done Whit Road and the infamous water crossing. Just as an aside, I found Greg and Timmy on YouTube because I was interested in doing the Smoky Mountain 500. And as soon as I did a search, lo and behold, what is it? But these two gentlemen and a propane heater strapped to their bike. I sat there that morning and I watched their entire Smoky Mountain series, including the video where I learned Greg isn't entirely as nice as he appears when he laughed his ass off when Timmy and his V-Strom went down on Whit Road. So it's about a year later, and now the KTM and I are probably gonna take that bath on Whit Road. And I'm really hoping that Timmy can redeem himself and make it across on his mighty V-Strom. We shall see. Temps are cool in the morning, which makes it difficult to get out of the tent but the riding is so worth just a little bit of morning chill. It's a great road. All right, we stopped for breakfast after breaking camp. It is warm. It was warm all night. And we are here at a nice overlook, just taking a break. A uh, rock or something kicked up and hit Greg's kickstand turned his bike off for him. Just the universe letting him know it was time to take a break. If you watch Greg's video of this trip, you're gonna notice him being hard on himself. He shouldn't be. It was deep gravel. We were early in the morning. We hadn't hit anything but pavement and he had a slight slide, but I'll leave that for his video. Just know that he's being way too hard on himself because it would have happened to anybody who hit that corner. Well, we're going to take our break. I have no idea how far it is to Whit Road, but we are here in Tennessee on a great rocky road. I'm glad it didn't rain too much last night because there's a lot more dirt here than yesterday and it would be a bit muddy. But today with the light rain, it's rocky, it's chunky, it's a ton of fun. We just crested the mountain. We're now heading down it and it should be a great ride. It's been a great ride so far. Greg's bike didn't have any kind of real issue. We could have gotten right back on the road, but we took a nice little break here, and it was a great place to stop. Great views. Had a minor setback here. We're riding on some uh, loose gravel, having a good time. Third gear riding, and this happens. It actually doesn't look that bad until you consider I was going that way. I went up and slid and spun. Oh man, what a fun time. This is the first time I've gone down though, and it's entirely my fault. I was just thinking about what we were going to do later today instead of thinking about what I was on. Not a care in the world. The only real problem with this is Greg and Timmy, they don't look behind them. They just go. So I'm either going to have to wait or lift the bike myself. I did roll my back over that at one point. I actually think I got it hit the rock after I was getting up. So again, my fault. All part of the adventure. Yep. Long time. Nobody's noticed I'm gone yet. But hey, the bike is back up. And this is why I have a lightweight bike because I am an old man with a bum knee and a bum leg, 
and I need to be able to lift my bike even if I'm on a crappy ass hill like this going the wrong way. There is no way I am in the condition to lift an Africa Twin off of here. I'm probably not in the condition to lift a CBX 500, but my bike, my bike I can lift a couple times. All right, here we are, about five miles away. Got Greg and Cheyenne relaxing, taking a break. Timmy just got back from coming to rescue me. Timmy, bro, I appreciate it. Oh, that was a f Oh, sorry, language. All right, that was a mess up I did not enjoy, but great to be back. Now, I'm not one to blame the equipment but I'm gonna blame the equipment here. I've gone over this footage with the 360 camera for a couple of minutes now, and it is really obvious to me that I entered perfectly straight, I entered where it was the most shallow on the left, and that Trail Max mission with 8,000 miles on it just went out to the right. That tire just slid away. And this left me in knee deep water. So my waterproof boots became a hindrance as they filled with water, but still a great mud hole. And my special thanks to Timmy, oh, and to Greg for pulling the front of my bike out because that mud was sticky and I would not have gotten out of it easily on my own. All right, Greg says we're 10 minutes away from Whit Road. The rain has stopped. The sun is shining. Greg is trying to get his phone to work. Cheyenne's in the Dollar General grabbing, I think, some barbecue chicken for dinner. So we're gonna eat a nice hot meal third night in a row. And we're hanging out with the Amish horse. He looks really sad and depressed. But hey, everybody in the South goes to the Dollar General. Well, Greg just told us he took us up the wrong way in the pouring rain on a rocky shaley hill, but at least the view is good. Now to hopefully find where our campsite on this dark and rainy thunderstorming day will be. Cheyenne suggested a hotel. I suggested an Airbnb. Greg suggested we go camp in the mountains. Feel about the mountain now, Greg. Yeah! <laughs> it's all part of the adventure. No, they don't know all right, we're camping now, Jordan. <laughs> right, right, all over the water for zero. Greg, you still feeling good about the mountain? Oh, yeah, loving it. Love it. Timmy? I'm loving it. Oh, Cheyenne, I'm not even going to ask. I know you're not loving I'm it. Here. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Diane is absolutely putting up with it, but yeah, nobody's <laughs> loving it except the ground. Take a look at this. Five minutes ago, there was no water. This has been off the record book for me in like an hour. Now, this right here is what we were riding on. Five minutes ago, it was dry. Now it's all running mud. Definitely in the adventure now. Well, we we're finally to Whit Road. A couple of small water crossings. Just grabbed the guys going across. Now we're going onward to the real crossing. I'm out the way. It's raining and he's doing it. That warm my bitch ass out right there.
Go crank! All right, Whit Road is done. Made it through the two small ones. Bike got stuck in the mud on the big one, but I was able to ride it out. And here, I babied it all the way across until I ran out of a place to put my right foot and I dropped the bike. But oh well, good time is had by all. We are at camp, we are cold, we are wet, and the god darn kindness of strangers. Work faster, Greg, this man wants to get his truck back. We went ahead and uh, stopped by the closest store we could find and I asked, do you have any firewood? He said no, but the guy across the street does. You go across the street and he sells you a ton of firewood for 10 bucks. And the first thing Greg says is, I don't know how we're going to get this on the bikes. So, gentleman pulls up in his truck and he goes, huh, you guys need help. How far away are you? And he is delivering or has delivered all of the wood we bought to our campsite. So we should at least be a little warm at some point in the future. Well, I was changing. I came back to find out Timmy and Greg were able to get some newspapers for their boots. Cheyenne's boots? Nah, nothing for Cheyenne. Frank's boots? Nah, nothing for Frank. Their, <laughs> their boots will be fine though. That's what's important. It really is. Ah, oh, well, it has been how many days? Three. Three days of adventure and it uh, was quite a bit of different weather. We were cold, we were hot, and we're absolutely wet today. The uh, camp is set up. Cheyenne is cooking. Timmy made a fire, which is drying some of my clothing, as well as warming the rest of us. But holy shoot, look at this. Timmy's fire is raging. We have grilled chicken, mashed potatoes, and we have corn. This is just wild. What's your uh, YouTube? ADV Gourmet. ADV Gourmet. All right, go to ADV Gourmet. I have to sub to that and take a look. I mean, geez, what he did on this fire is amazing. In the rain, no less. He's cooking in the rain. Just starting to push nice. on cooking. So oh cooking. That's get, fantastic. Get on the cutting edge YouTube channel. Be a subscriber today. ADV Gourmet. Unsubscribe from the bearded grump and subscribe to ADV Gourmet instead. Alright, no. You're, you're not watching the wrong channel. This is Greg from the Bearded Grump. Frank was too lazy to do this shit. So I'm gonna close out this video for him. This food was delicious. Cheyenne knocked it out of the park. Frank was the tank today, rode in the rain. We all had a good time. We're tired. We're gonna sit around the fire, shoot the shit. Make sure that you subscribe to ADV Gourmet, our channel, The Bearded Grump, and hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell for one old man riding. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Well, this is the end of the road for me. The guys are gonna go on and ride more today. And then I think they're all going home tonight. You guys camping tonight? They don't know. I think they're done. But I guess it depends on how much fun they have today. And I'm sure much fun will be had as the blue skies are coming out. Unlike yesterday where we got rained on. But I can't recommend the Smoky 500 enough. It was amazing. It was fun. It was great. You got gravel. You got dirt. You got etc. The only real negative is... Maybe don't go on a mountain when the weather says storming because a thunderstorm at the top of the mountain and having to come down and look for camping was not fantastic. But what a camp we found. We were able to go and get wood. 
Timmy set up the Timmy tarp so we were dry all night, sat by the fire, traded stories, and was just warm before hiding into our tents. Honestly though, it was great. This is a great little campsite, got everything we needed. Be a hot shower this morning would have been nice, but oh well, you can't always have those. We were spoiled the other night. Again, Smoky Mountain 500, Bearded Grump, Cheyenne, fantastic, do it all.